Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Lambert with Plush Republic. Uh, this will be one of the first videos in our Amplitude implementation course. In this particular video, I will be showing you how to um, set up your data sources. So uh, this is a client-side implementation, and then in the follow-up video, I will show you how to implement the tracking uh, server side so you can start sending events to Amplitude and actually getting some value out of it. So the first step for this video is to go to amplitude.com, um, create an account, and you'll land in your workspace here. Uh, from here, you'll want to go to manage data and create a project. I'll be using this one that I created already, but you would click create a project, give it a name, and ultimately when you hit create, you'll end up with your project here. Uh, a project would be uh, any application. So I could have you know multiple different applications in here. Maybe I would have a mobile app and uh, my desktop application as two different projects um, or you know multiple different websites of different projects, but that's how you would structure it. Um, and it tells you, you know, those details here. It contains data for an individual product, app, or website that you'd like to track. So once you have that, you click into it, and this will essentially become your data hub where you can start to track that the events are coming through with the right properties uh, for both, you know, general web events as well as for user events with the properties that you expect to come through with your users, making sure that they're coming through properly um, and tracking that uh, over time to make sure that you actually have everything um, implemented in the right way. So once you're in here, you'll notice that I don't have any events coming in. Um, so I'm, I don't really have anything set up to actually be able to analyze on. So that's what we're going to be focused on today. You go into data sources. I've already set one up, um, but I'll show you like how we're going to go about doing this. So uh, for the client side, you go ahead and click add data source. And we're going to be using the JavaScript SDK. Uh, you know, it depends if you're doing a mobile application, you would either pick iOS or Android. Um, or if you're coming from a CDP, like M particle or segment, you would have a different implementation path. I'll actually end up creating a video on how to implement via segment as opposed to directly with Amplitude in a later video, so stay tuned for that. But in this case, we're gonna go ahead and click the JavaScript SDK. So as you can tell, they're giving us a script that will implement client side, but if you click through on the installation guide here and you scroll down, It'll also show you the uh, NPM installation for Node, obviously, if you were doing the server side, which will be in the follow-up video. So if you're looking for that, that's where you'd find that information. But for now, we're gonna focus on the client side. So I'll just copy this script. And you obviously have the option of uh, just coming into your, this is my header partial, and you could just drop it in before the uh, closing head tag, hit save, and that would work although this is not my preferred method of implementation. As you can see here, I have Google Tag Manager implemented, uh, which is a tag management system. If you're not familiar, I have another video on my YouTube channel that walks you through how to set up Google Tag Manager. Um, and that is always my preferred method for client-side implementations. It makes it easier for versioning control, to make changes without needing developing needs or developer needs, and you can have a lot of people having access to it. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up via Google Tag Manager as opposed to hard coding it. So I'll take this code here, I'll go ahead and hit next, and then I'll go to Google Tag Manager. So from here, if I land it on my homepage, you select the account, you click tags, uh, and you click create new. I'm just gonna call this amplitude, and you'll pick custom HTML right here. Drop that code in, come down here, select once per page from tag firing options and then triggering is on all pages that means this tag will fire on all of the pages that this code uh, is included on hit save typically here you would do the preview process to make sure it's fine okay i know that it is so i'm just going to skip that not a best practice but for the sake of time we'll do that and then i'll just put my version notes and hit publish so now that uh, Amplitude script is being injected via Google Tag Manager into the top of my application. So I have my app here. I have to go ahead and start it up. Perfect. Um, so this should be running at localhost. So how do I test why this is working? On that next page, it gives you an example event that you can send. So I'll go to my website or my application, hit inspect, go to the console, 
drop this in and I'll put in like a test event name here. So page view test hit run. And now when I come back into my events, I see that page view test. So I know that that has been implemented properly. And then, you know, after a couple minutes, it'll also show up here in your custom events section. Um, so now we know that client side implementation is working. We're able to send events through. Uh, in the next video, I'll go into how to do it on the server side, and then we'll start to get into the nitty gritty of how do you structure events? Um, what kind of properties do you want to send along with these events? Uh, how do you track users and user properties versus general event properties? And then we'll get down into now how do we leverage this data to start analyzing um, retention and user flows uh, and all of the good things that make Ampl Amplitude so powerful. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Leave me any comments of videos that you would like to see. Um, and then I'll be coming out with the rest of the series here over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy. Oh, this Thank you. Crazy mother